Hi, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's L here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All right, so Scorpio, thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Scorpio, don't trust this fool. This is a real fool, or you're the fool, Scorpio, and somebody shouldn't trust you. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. There's somebody here who just wants to convince. Like, I want to convince you to come back. Um, there's somebody here who's used to being, like, slick and, like, charming. Like, just, oh, I can charm the pants off of, or I can charm this person. This is, like, you know, the charm, charm and disarm type of energy. Say anything to get their way, then they're, once they get their way, they're gone. There's somebody who's just going to come to you with outright lies, uh, Scorpio. Or this is you, the moon and the, the night of wands. It's like they're going to come to you with lies, half truths. Uh, they're coming to you as, you know, enemy or uh, frenemy, um, contrary to what you say you really want in your life. Um, and they're coming to take or to get or, or uh, to, to um, with the charisma. OK, uh, they're coming on a mission. You know, I don't know if this is just fun and games for them because we do have the sun in the near future. Somebody may want you to come out and play, you know, with the sun card. Somebody is playful or childish. There could be children involved in having to communicate with somebody with the eight of wands here. We got Sagittarius energy showing up heavy. Um, there's some, it could be coming around Sagittarius season. I don't know. There's somebody who wants to declare their intentions or what they want, but, but they're really just infatuated with maybe keeping you in the loop or keeping you strong along or hanging on, or I don't know, or this is what you do, Scorpio. It's, it's real convoluted. It's real dis. It's a lot of distrust or somebody's untrustworthy. Um, somebody's out to get what they want because the chariot card is at the bottom of the deck. So it, this is not the best card for a love reading this is somebody here who they see what they want they want it they're gonna go after it it's all about me this is real self-directed self-focused energy it's I really don't care about anybody else and what they really want this is what I want um, this is somebody here so we got the Sun and the moon so we got uh, masculine and feminine energy we've got maybe a masculine trying to persuade the feminine um, that things are different or let me back in or it, things will be different. There was some like drama Island nine of swords in the past with you two. Some event happened to where somebody can't get over it. Um, or they can't get over what happened or what was said or what was done or, uh, you know, somebody's also dealing with the kind of, um, having a rest in that, those emotions and those thoughts of what happened that day, that argument, that breakdown, that was the beginning of the end. The nine of swords, it says that this energy, this relationship, whatever it may be, is disseminating, is moving into an energy of it's about to combust and turn into something else. It's not going to be how it has been. You know, it's about to, you know, go away. It's about to leave or it's going to end. This is ending or this could even be estrangement. You, you're separated from someone or you're separating yourself from someone because there's always, it looks like a lot of drama and calculation, discord. Um, arguing um, you could have been poking and spying and and so forth um, it's like somebody's trying to get back on the right track for themselves move forward make moves uh, and they're just trying to be uh, calculated in terms of um, how they want the rest of their life to look and move away from maybe drama but somebody is coming with the lies and the deception what is the advice here for um, Scorpio here? Somebody, it could be a feminine coming with lies and deception. It could be a masculine. It could be anybody here. Something could be uncovered. Somebody was trying to hide something here. Let's see. Yeah, high honor. Yeah, it looks like you're really trying to get to a place of like, okay, I just want to be in something high vibrational. I don't want to be in this drama anymore. I want to move past it. I want to move on. Um, this is too much. It's too chaotic. Um, it's done. It's over. Um, somebody's trying to make some fast moves here, though. 
uh, a quick, fast move in, in the right direction. Um, to maybe that somebody's got some short term goals that they would like to fulfill with the chariot card. Um, and it doesn't include, you know, drama. It doesn't include drama. Yeah. This could be a feminine energy trying to do the best for her family, herself, and children. There could be children or a child involved. It's like somebody's trying to get to a place, a level of happiness. Someone's trying to move to. I don't know, a move is being halted, like stopped, like someone's not allowing the other person to move if they have children. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. You could buy me a coffee. Join the business, uh, the monthly business conference call, the KTMG, Keep the Momentum Going conference call where we talk all things business, how to establish, maintain, and grow your business, uh, spiritual and practical advice, all right? Uh, I want to shout out to some places where I have high viewership. I sometimes forget to do this, but uh, it's New York, Chicago, Dallas, London, Florida, Miami, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Houston. So it, let me know where you are viewing from, okay? So go ahead and type that below. Uh, many blessings to you, Scorpio. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.